Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. Collective, what in the world is going on out here today? Y'all, I'm picking up on some energy and some downloads that's got, it's coming out through the cards. Somebody did something not so smart now, didn't they? Y'all, woo! The downloads that I'm getting is like, somebody's in trouble and they know it because they know what they did. And I was telling y'all that on my last reading, it's just like, these people know what they were doing. They knew what they were doing is the problem. But it's like, hey, it's catch up time. You know what time it is. It's called karma. Y'all, let's go ahead and get it, all right? Somebody uh, carries the energy of the Queen of Cups in the reverse heavy on somebody being unrealistic about whatever they did. I don't care whatever they did, whoever it is, place the energy as it resonates with whomever it is, friend, family member, the ex, the karmic attached to the ex or someone at your job. I am getting some work situations out here heavy. I'm also getting those romantic partners. And that's what I was saying on my last reading. It's like, however the, uh, the energy resonates with you, somebody carried the queen of cups in reverse energy. Somebody was heavy on the unrealistic side. It's like somebody thought that they could do something and it was just like, they're not, they're not like connected to rational thinking. Like I'm, I'm for real, like somebody was just not, they don't they don't get uh, one and one makes two. They're like, no, it's five and you can't do math. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm getting. Somebody unreal, unrealistic, right? This is also somebody who's not in touch with their emotions. And I'm getting, it's like a, something to do with an expectation. And I heard um, a track record. Somebody has a track record of doing this. I heard track record. So someone has an expectation of whatever their track record is, you need to follow suit with it. This is what's coming through in the downloads, y'all. Y'all know who this person is, this unrealistic person who always needs you to accept their unrealistic behavior. So whoever this particular person is, right? This person is definitely, they're not in touch with their emotions, heavy on the unrealistic things of it. But whatever they did, the unrealistic expectation of them having a track record of doing something, they thought that they can get away with it, they did it because they're feeling this ace of cups. Somebody's in their feelings because they got caught. Whatever it was, they got found out, they got caught, it's, they, they're catching karma, okay? This is them realizing, oopsie, I made a big mistake. I can't run game on collective, now, now can I? You know what I'm saying, collective? This is why. This full energy, and I was telling y'all this with uh, my prior reading, something about this full energy, I'm getting it both ways. They took a leap of faith to try to look innocent on something. They wanted you to go with this track record of theirs, right? Whatever this particular person did, they did something stupid. Whatever it was, they knew it was stupid. They knew they couldn't get away with it, but they tried. So it was kind of like they tried a different approach, like, mm, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm known for being a liar. I'm known for playing games. I'm known for being six of cups in reverse. I'm known for being childish. I think the collective is naive about my ways. The collective ain't that smart. Mm. That is a mistake that they are finding out today. That is a mistake, okay? This full energy is the fact that I'm getting that you did something and it's, I heard something festering. It was something that was like festering with you, but you just let it alone, right? Whatever this person did, it was something that you knew about. And the thing about it is one, they're getting hit with it. Karma, they're understanding that they knew what they did and they couldn't get away with it. All right, Collective, you took a, a leap of blind faith. Like you did something that they didn't expect, but they did something that you didn't expect. They thought that you were naive about it. Six of Cups in reverse, right? Being childish. Somebody was being stupid and just real childish about whatever they did. And like, as I heard it's a gas. Like it's a gas. Somebody thinks that whatever they did was funny. And it was like, they were gonna like play it off like it was nothing, but it was something. It was something that got them in their feelings the moment that they knew that they were found out about it, okay? You took a leap of faith to say, uh-uh, I know what time it is. I know you were being childish. I know that you thought I was naive, but I'm absolutely not. Okay, Collective, you're absolutely not. You're, and the fact that I'm getting like, this is like, I heard smooth criminal. <laughs> Yo, your energy is hilarious. Like this person, like they, they thought it was a gas, but like what I'm getting your energy, mm -mm, they're feeling karma because you're, you're, they thought they were a smooth criminal, but like your energy is like cool, like cool breeze. Like you thought that I was really naive. I'm absolutely not, right? This six of cups in reverse energy is them throwing a temper tantrum because they got found out because whatever you did, you exposed them. They're feeling their karma. It's, and I'm getting at something that you did to expose this. Whatever it is, you're interacting with this person. You're like, ah, 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 I know what you're doing. Okay, collective, this is what it is. That's exactly why this Knight of Wands energy is here next to the Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? This energy, I'm getting like it's like one person, but it may have been two in the place of energy as it resonates. Somebody is trying to persevere over you finding out what they did. They're in their feelings because that unrealistic move didn't work. 
it got shut down. They got found out, they got exposed. I don't care what this person thought. This person is not understanding that whatever they did was just like stupid. Like it's really coming across as like stupid. Like you really thought you were gonna play me like that. <laughs> you got played, you played yourself, congratulations. This uh, nine of wands energy isn't them trying to like defend themselves and persevere through it because they are trying to be a queen of wands in reverse. I'm getting heavy. You trigger their insecurities. It's falling out right under the Ace of Cups. There's an insecurity about something. And I'm getting, like I said, work situations, but I'm getting heavy on money um, as well as energetic. So you trigger their insecurities when you, you expose this person about their behavior towards you. You ex you trigger insecurity when you find out this person was actually trying to steal money from you. Like I'm actually getting people like actually stealing money. So this could have been like stealing out a job, stealing out your business, stealing some actual cash out of your pocket. It was something that they did that was unrealistic. They thought that they could get away with it, right? But they didn't. So it's just like the moment they get caught, they're like, phrase like they didn't think that they would get caught because they have a track record my download said right but it's triggering this queen of wands and reverse energy right they got caught they got exposed you called them out or however that that energy works but i'm also getting this energetically they're feeling guilt they're feeling the the fact i heard depression they're feeling the fact that they got exposed they feel it energetically and i am picking this up in the energy for the karmic side because they knew what they did was not real anyway they were just trying to get away with some stupidness right because they thought it was all a gas they thought it was all fun and games being childish thinking that you're naive and you're going to keep going with the stupidity you're like absolutely not right this queen of wands in reverse energy i'm getting they reacted and they um i heard overreacted so it's a reaction to them getting caught right under the ace of cups energy right they reacted to the to them getting caught so it's just like you not you're like you're not playing along right you're doing things a little bit differently you're not going along with their stupidity right so this person gets triggered they're insecure immature jelly uh, jelly uh they're, they are jelly jealous of you they're jelly of you okay and it's like this is an insecurity complex that gets triggered literally right under here y'all don't make this up they're going to energy right here right this person is kind of like I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but like this person thinks you're like not bright, but the, the funny thing is, the funny thing, okay? Whatever they did, stealing from you, trying to uh, drain your energy, trying to get in your energy, trying to fool you as a romantic partner, it was like what they did is coming across stupid to me. Like you really thought that you you really had uh, one and one makes five. Like, I, I don't get it. Like it, it's really coming across like, did you really think this would work? Y'all, this I'm telling you what this is coming across like, are you for real? It wasn't going to work. That's why they're so triggered and in their feelings because they didn't even think it was gonna work. They have a track record of doing it and expecting somebody else to kind of slide by it, but once they get exposed, they're like, oh crap. Now I gotta be a bully about it. Now I gotta fight you because now you see that I'm a liar. Mm-hmm now that you see i'm gonna be petty because no i want you to be a fool i want you to be naive just like everybody else no you're not a fool and this person's just being petty they're reacting about it they're insecure the fact that you see them whatever stupid action that they did especially um the fact that i'm getting actually stealing money like actual stealing money in my downloads yeah they got caught this person is experiencing the world in reverse told you it's karma kicking them in the butt they knew what they did they knew exactly what they did that came out in my last readings right they are experiencing delays and sex back setbacks but i'm getting like they're trying to delay you it's trying to delay you like i'm having delays and setbacks so it's just like i don't want to take accountability for what i did this is how it's coming across in the energy i didn't do that okay I, I i didn't try to steal from you energetically financially spiritually you know what i'm saying i didn't try to do that but whatever they're doing was like this stupid move and they're in their feelings about it right that's why the seven of cups in reverse energy is here asking you to find your focus set your intentions and make the right choice to be the king of pentacles and this is where i'm getting like monetary situation so this could very well be in a job situation i'm getting that somebody is actually in control of actual money so you may be in a leadership position or a boss position or your business where you're in control of the money somebody was like trying to steal money from the boss y'all who is this okay somebody's actually trying to steal money from you your company or whatever the king of pentacles the king of money the king of you know financial stability with uh, with things things that are earthbound that pinnacle energy this is also being like the energy that i was getting i heard smooth criminal but it's just like you're like so smooth with it like so smooth you're just looking watching them being like childish over here right you're just like mm -hmm. i know exactly what you did and i'm hearing y'all got receipts like y'all got receipts like this person is like really trying to get away with some stupidness they're getting killed on the inside with their energy because karma's eating them up 
So they're the ones that's reacting, right? Whoever's reacting is the one who is actually getting eaten up because they knew that they were being petty in the first place, okay? Th so this King of Pentacles is like, you're cool, calm, collective. You're very secure in your energy. You're very stable. You have all the facts on your side. And I'm getting, it's like, it's it's weird because whoever's actually trying to steal money, you're in control of it. So they're literally trying to take money out of your pockets. So however this goes, if this is a financial situation or if this is somebody trying to steal from you energetically, spiritually, your sacral sexual energy, it's just like, uh-uh, this is mine. Get out of here. You can't have this. I don't care what it is. My time, my energy, you know, my presence. No, you can't have it, but you're trying to steal and you're trying to be petty about it because you think you can get over on me. Nah, it's not going to go down like that, fam. Somebody is trying to take from you your pinnacle energy because you're the king of pinnacles, right? because they're codependent they need you they need your time your your energy your sacral sexual energy your money and i'm like i'm saying this this is opposing each other so somebody who wants something and they're reacting because they want something they're reacting because they're not getting it out of you so that's why they're gonna be in petty and being argumentative with you because you're not reacting to them you're cool calm and collect you don't need anything from them. This person is like, I want your attention. I want your attention. I want your money. I want your money. And it's like, like fighting you for whatever they're trying to steal. Y'all, come on, y'all. Y'all don't understand who this is. This person is dealing with codependency issues. This can just be as simply as one or two, okay? One or two narcissists who want your time and your energy and this mad they can't get it. Mm. And this is where like narcissists like really like look pitiful at the end of the day with their codependency issues, it's like really like reaching because they're lonely. And the fact that they don't have anybody to get any energy from, the energy vampire, anybody, they want your energy. They want your time, your sacral sexual energy, whatever. Then they start doing stupid stuff and being petty about doing the stupid stuff, all because they're starved of their energy. Y'all hear me, this is what it looks like. They are dealing with the Ten of Swords. Told you karma's eating them up. Mm -hmm. They are feeling this, this suffering, this painful ending because they tried to backstab you, tried to play you, tried to steal from you. However, this resonates and they thought they can get away with it because that's their track record. That's what they do. They can be childish in your energy. They can play in your face. They can think that you're naive. But as soon as you start moving different, mm -hmm, they'd like, oh, well, you're moving funny. No, you're not moving funny. You're moving right. Get them collective. You're moving the right way because you know this person is a six of swords in the reverse. This person is our own worst problem. If they don't get whatever they're trying to steal, I don't care what it is. Time, your energy, your sacral sexual energy, and they can't get it. They start flipping all the way out. They start getting in their feelings. They start being petty, trying to delay you, trying to act like it's your fault, blame you, all because they got caught and they don't want to feel this ten of swords. The, and what's interesting is what happens when narcissists do this, they'll try to blame you for calling them out. No, 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 I just saw you're moving funny. If you're moving funny, you're moving funny. And it is what it is. Don't be mad for the fact that I saw you moving funny. Stop moving funny. Get them collective. This person is their own worst problem. The six of swords in the reverse. All because they do carry, carry page of cups in reverse. It's the same person up here. This unrealistic person who thinks that they can be a child and just be childish in your energy and think you're cool with it. This person doesn't trust you anyway. They were just playing in your face. This is a, like, I'm getting like, and I'm telling you, it's like a narcissist who's like, there, it's like an entitlement, but when they don't get what they want, they start doing stupid stuff. And that's the point where they don't care. This ten, uh, this uh, page of cups in reverse energy, they're very moody, they're untrusting, they're emotionally immature. They start blaming you for the stuff that they do. Narcissists will never want to feel this ten of swords. They have to blame it on somebody else. They have to act like it's you. They have to be like, no, 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 I didn't do anything. They'll flip the script on you. And then all of a sudden they'll want you to be like, well, no, it's my fault. Now you want to, you're going to have to take responsibility for what they do. Narcissists will twist your words like that. Don't let them twist your words collective. Their energy is here. The one that's starving and flipping out for attention is not you. It's them because they've done all this and they feel it. They feel it. They just don't want to feel it. They're their own problem. This page of cups in reverse energy confirms it. This person is very moody. They don't trust well. They're emotionally immature. So this is the person that will try to flip the script on you all because they got caught being a three of pentacles in reverse, being a bad team player and moving in their ego. Yep. Well, they got blocked you now because that, that stuff was not going to work. And I'm like the energy that I'm getting for you, it's like, it's cool, come and collect, but at the same time, it's like you already have the receipts. You already know what this person is doing, and you and it's kind of like you're just watching them. Like I see how I see how you're moving right now, and it's like you knew this person was not going to get away with it, but once it's finally exposed, they can't get away with it either. You know what I'm saying? That's why this Ace of Wands in Reverse energy is here. This is block lack of motivation, you know, male impotence, right? This is they don't they're not inspired no more to do this because they got caught. 
Now they're just trying to get out of, um, you know, being seen for what they did. Whether they try to steal at your job, try to steal your actual money, your, your time, your attention, whatever. This person was treating you unfair. That's why you blocked them, right? They were treating you unfair as a part of a group. If this resonates in a work situation, I'm getting this flipped a different way, okay? Again, if we're dealing with a narcissist, like trying to project blame, uh, blame, like I feel like they tried to flip the script on you, which is why it's coming through in the energy, right? They got blocked. So now this person feels, I heard persecuted. Isn't that funny? I feel I, this the person feels persecuted. So this person would have tried to flip the script on y'all. Y'all, you're dealing with a narcissist. Let me tell you point blank. They feel like they were treated unfair because you saw what they were doing. Isn't that funny? But you're the one that's got all the receipts of them being all childish and immature and thinking that you have to accept it. You don't got to accept nothing. Your peace and solitude is what you need to accept, okay? This uh, three of cups in reverse, this is what I'm getting for their energy. They did treat you unfair. They try to get you ousted in some type of group by doing whatever this is. But at the same time, this is what I'm getting for them that they're projecting on you. They don't like feeling this, three, this ten of swords. They don't like feeling that it's a cup. So they will project any uncomfortable feelings. They need to act like it's somebody else's problem, namely you. Judging you at the same time. Told you this person judged you, but now this person is also judging you for the fact that you called them out on their behavior. It's just spitting facts, yo. <laughs> You just spitting facts. King of Pentacles, you're spitting facts about whatever they did. Now they're judging you for spitting facts. Isn't that funny? Narcissists lack accountability. They will they don't they can't be wrong. But everything that they've everything that they've done that you've got receipts for, you can prove that they've done it. They tried to steal or whatever. They don't want to be wrong. So they will deflect and deflect and deflect. They don't want to feel this way. So that's why they feel like they're under judgment. Because they don't want to take accountability for what they've done, even if they try to actually steal some money. No, 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 it's not my fault. No, no, no. I'm not a thief. Why would you say I'm a thief? Y'all, I'm this is not an exaggeration. This is literally how narcissists behave, judging you for making them feel, you know, treated unfair, even though that they carry magician in the reverse energy. Y'all, I can't make this up. <laughs> even though that they were lying, even though that they were tricking you, even though that they were manipulating you, even though that they tried to remove some resources, even though they tried to make you all unconfident, even though they tried to make you unfocused, like, hmm, show game, you don't see what you see. Magician in the reverse, come on, y'all. This is what narcissists do. They try to confuse you, they try to flip the script and make reality a non-reality, and then they judge you for it. All you did was see what they did. Mm -hmm. What you saw was an injustice, literally. And our last clarifier is this person person who actually carried this particular energy this energy is the, the fear bit for the fact that they created an injustice they did something they got caught for it and the fact that they're trying to blame you for seeing what they've done this person does not want to change this person does not want to take accountability for what they've done this person is resisting you bringing what they've done to the forefront and they want to stay in the past. That track record that I heard in my downloads, this is somebody who has a track record of doing this and lying about it and thinking it's okay because nobody calls them out on the crap. Not you, King of Pentacles. You absolutely did. And you do not have to deal with people who give you an injustice and try to blame you for them trying to do some stuff to you that they're trying to project on you that they did. Mm -mm, collective. I'm going to see what else is behind this. But as of right now, let's get an astrology card to see what energy is behind this. Card 21, Sagittarius. I see. All right, let's take a look at this energy. I do know that Sagittarius, the uh, moon is in Sagittarius right now, so we are dealing with Sagittarian energy. You're just about ready to hit your mark. The sign of Sagittarius is ruled by the planet Jupiter and is a mutable sign, which is a fire sign. The ancient symbol for Sagittarians is a half ham human, half horse, known as a centaur, a creature trained in the art of archery who always manages to hit his target no matter how far he roams. Sagittarians are honest, candid, and not afraid to speak the truth. Since his freedom-loving fire sign is not offended by the truth, he is often surprised when others take offense to his words. Yep. Sagittarians are also highly idealistic, creative, outdoorsy, and have a great sense of fun and play. They are also extremely restless and would prefer not to stay in the same spot. Instead, they would rather roam. Sagittarians dislike routine and are encumbered by the same 9 to 5 job. They may end up as magicians, fire eaters, tattoo artists, entertainers, publishers, literary agents, clergy, tutors, bookstore owners, and whatever does not require any set schedules. They are confident, which makes them highly attractive and popular, drawing them to whatever they need. Sagittarians also have integrity and would not go along with anything unfair or underhanded. When the Sagittarius card turns up in a reading, freedom or the current time to be free is essential. You will feel the need to fight against restrictions of any kind and want everything to be out in the open. You want to know where you stand. 
If your question pertains to a relationship, you or your partner need to be given extra space and looser reins. If you find yourself especially philosophical at the current moment, that is likely. And even studying religions which may not have appealed to you before is a thing. You may soon travel to areas with vast countrysides or regions with mountains and lakes that you want to explore. You might embrace a new philosophy, enroll in a class of higher learning, or begin to study churches or religions. Your future looks promising because you're ready to expand and grow beyond your own limits and anyone else's limits that they place onto you. If you do encounter difficulties, you will surmount them easily and move forward to your next big lucky break in life, which should be coming up very soon. Yep, this is a Sagittarius energy because like I so told you before, you see what I say. All right, let's get a gratitude oracle and we'll wrap it up. Card 15 talks about security. Yep, the fact that somebody is insecure because you see what they did, that is not your problem. They are dealing with their insecurity issues. Our sense of security comes from feeling unconditionally accepted without fear of criticism or judgment. When you feel secure, you are more apt to let your guard down. You feel emotionally safe and can be your true self. Sometimes we might give up this sort of security for others' comforts in a relationship, such as chemistry or financial support. This can cause you to slowly close your heart because you do not recognize the importance of emotional security. You can reign in feelings of security through consistency. Be true to your values and the things you hold important. Find out what helps the people in your world feel safe and secure as well. Be flexible and allow others the opportunity to learn what you need to feel secure. The golden rule is very applicable at this time. Treat others as you hope to be treated in return. Be clear and consistent about what creates feelings of safety for you. As you work on your feelings of security, recognize where you are responsible as well. Notice when you expect someone to heal a feeling you have from a past situation. Be willing to do your own work to become emotionally strong instead of being codependent. Take responsibility for your own emotions. If problems arise, be willing to look at what caused them and accept your role in the situation. As you become more aware of your needs, your confidence and your security will grow. And this is the, the lesson that somebody is having to deal with right now, but I don't think so because this death in reverse is talking about the fact that they don't wanna change is the fact that they're so deeply insecure, but it doesn't matter because you have the Sagittarius energy you see. Go ahead on King of Pentacles. I will get some more energy after this, but as of right now, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.